Hey everybody, my name is Gatema. Welcome back for the video of Franchise Hockey Manager 6. We're going to continue this series. Uh, you guys voted. I put up the poll uh, yesterday as I'm talking. And uh, I asked you guys which player I wanted you uh, in your mind I should go for. Uh, were three choices and they're all from Montreal. It was either McKay. So let me go back. So it was either McKay at three and a half star, 28 years of age. Like I said, veteran, all-star player. Don't really know much about him, but I know he's playing good. As you can see, 39 points, 40 points. He's consistent. He's, he does do a lot of good uh, stuff over the years. We also have me, which is New Zealand alone, which we know. He, had, he didn't have a good season last year, but that was the first time he didn't have a good one. And um, it's all, he's also a three and a half star. He can still go. He's uh, starting to grow old, though. And we also had a choice between uh, Neil Stewart as well. So three star already, 19 years of age. Uh, I, I would have probably got for him, went for him or Lalonde, but you guys voted for McKay and you voted for Lalonde on the split decision. So I'm going to go for Lalonde. I'm going to do um, the authority thing and I'm actually going to choose myself now that it's a split decision. I'm going to choose between the two players. I'm choosing Lalonde. I'm choosing myself. Obviously, it would make more sense. Uh, they're the same, even though McKay's a little bit uh, younger. I feel like Lalonde costs a little bit less even. Even though I'm going to have to resign him. He's got a one-year deal. So, I'm going to go for Lalonde. He's a three and a half star. Uh, what do we want to trade for him again? I don't remember. I think uh, McKay Meeking is the one that he's going to be replacing, but Meeking is going to the minors. All right, that's perfect. That's exactly what I wanted to trade. I just uh, saw the players. So they're together, right? Fowler, which was our backup goalie last year for Vezina. It was the main goalie for a couple of years for Hamilton and Quebec. I'm going to trade him to Montreal. I'm going to trade Leduc and Reed. So a bunch of players that I can play in the league, two players that can play in the league, actually. And Reed as well can play. Uh, they all have uh, their contracts are all uh, getting done too, just like Lalonde. But I'm going to resign Lalonde. So if they don't resign the players, that's not my problem afterwards. But I'm resign uh, Lalonde for sure. So let's just make the trade happen. They're three and a half for three and a half. It's the same thing. So let's go, boys. We got New Zealand Lalonde on the team. Let me just go see real quick. So New Zealand alone, uh, you're going to go ahead. There we go. Uh, oh, I can't. Uh, yeah, I'm not a coach, so I can't do that just yet. So assistant dress players, all, everyone. And yeah, Me King, you're going to go into the minors. That's right. Me King's going to the minors. So now we got our backup uh, center into the minors, which is exactly what we needed. So now we're good. We're set up, boys. We're set up for this year at least. Next year, we're probably going to have to be, make a choice here because Vizina uh, is growing old, 35 years of age. We also got Rinkler. We did re-sign. And they're both NHL caliber players still. But I've got two goalies that are coming up for next year. They're probably going to be ready to play in the league. Probably. Uh, so, I, I don't know, boys. Still have four teams. We still have another trade to do. I'm going to just trade for a couple of draft picks here. These are the obviously the agents right here that I didn't want to sign, so I can trade them for a draft pick or something like that. So let me just go ahead and find a team here. All right, I didn't get too much out for the other trade. I didn't go for too much. I just got one. I got uh, or went for a fourth round pick for the senator. The other was senators. They can get these uh, three uh, prospects, fringe prospects, I guess, in exchange. So I'm just gonna continue now. We got our roster. Probably going to have to assign a jersey number to Lalonde though. Yeah, obviously. So now he wants number four. Who's got number four? It's Trap, if they say. Uh, where's Trap? Who's Trap? He's a lefty. I don't know. A Trap already has the number, so you don't need the number. I'm gonna, she go, just going to give you a different number then. You can get uh, number 34, my guy. Number 34, Lalonde. All right, let's go. Let's just continue until the actual start of the season. We do have another trade right here. Birch Phillips, Dick Irvin. Oh, God. Montreal just traded Dick Irvin in the second round pick to Toronto. All right. For, oh, for a good player, though. For a good prospect. Look at this. Billy Birch. Yeah, that's for a good player. Yeah, that's, that's kind of a good trade. They went for a younger player, I guess. 
interesting so montreal is uh selling right now it's it looks like interesting all right uh, i i guess now that they haven't won a cup or next because they haven't won a cup la last year oh they they, they did resign uh, george Ainsworth. i mean he's a five-star goalie obviously he's, they're going to resign him they need him for a couple of years for a lot of uh, years still yeah let me just uh simulate until the preseason start there you go and um, now, oh shit, we haven't simulated on build then? Shit, there's still a, a lot happening. Yeah, there's a lot of happening right now. Don't need to see any of this. I don't need to see any of this. Come on. You don't, okay. You know what? Let me just uh, go ahead and see read quick. So we got the lineups. No, the lineups haven't been done, but we do have the, everybody is there. So let me just see real quick. Um, I need to assign my, I guess my assistment. So definitely Lalonde's gonna be my second assist guy. There we go, and that should be good. And now, now we're good. I'm gonna actually AI set up lineups like that and AI create lines and also a set uh, roles. So Gret Gretzky's office for Lalonde, oh boy. That's an interesting one that uh, Lester Patrick's is using. He's using uh, Gretzky's office as a technique. Interesting. Way before his time. So he's got to actually play Lalonde in the first line. Awesome. He's playing me in the first line with uh, Stanley, boys. Uh, let's see how much that's going to do for us. And Rinkler is going to do uh, play above um, Vizna, I guess. Yeah, he's going to be the main goaltender. Vizna is the backup. So maybe Vizna... He's going to have another one of these years that he's not going to play too much. He's not at his time, but now he's only like a two star. So he's definitely starting to uh, struggle a little bit here. Let's go. We're almost there. There we go. Finally, we're up there. You can see all of these. Clint Benedict is another one of these great goaltenders that is coming up uh, a little bit old. He's definitely getting a little bit old. We can still see the history. Uh, right, so up Holmes with the most victory. Vizna at second. He's definitely going to get passed by uh, Benedict this year. Benedict is, all, is still a four and a half star. Vizna being a two star is a backup this year. Melondo and Yuzi Lalonde. Of course, we got the second best player of all time right now. So I'm interested to see what he can do for us. Yuzi Lalonde is also the best scorer of all time. And if, if we want to see as well the records, right? So 29 goals, 62 points, both by uh, Malone on, uh, for both. So And George Ensworth got the most wins. And that was two years ago that he got that. So that's definitely doable for the goalies. Let's start the season up, boys. Stop wasting time. Rinkler is going to get us a victory for the first game against Benedict. We're facing up against our old team. We, we lose against 6-4 uh, to four against uh, Montreal. Toronto, can we beat them? We can. We sure can. That was Vizina in the net, so he got a win for us. We're good. Yeah, we're winning games. There we go. We only lost, um, I think, one game so far. You know, that was against uh, Montreal. So that's perfect. Perfect, boys. We're doing awesome. Let's go. Board coach. All these little pop-ups. They don't matter. Let's go. Let's just kick their ass. We lost again against Montreal. So my, Montreal might it might be our, their comeback this year, boys. Because uh, we already lost twice against them. Only Cleghorn got suspended. Or he didn't get suspended. He was close to it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's the third loss in a row against uh, Montreal. I think we might uh, be in problems, boys. Have problems against Montreal. They are undefeated. They haven't lost yet. A single game, or oh, we're almost starting to lose. Vizna couldn't uh, win that game for us. Yeah, this is going to be a tougher, uh, tougher year, boys, for us. Eey. I don't know. Yeah, this is going to be a tougher year. Okay, all right, all right. That's okay. That's okay. We're at ten games now in third. We were started. Uh, we were starting good, but then we uh, started to drop off big time. I don't know what happened. Toronto World Cup or something. Montreal is just on the feet, like unbelievable. They're having a fantastic year. I think Montreal might win the cup again, boys. They might do it. I don't think we're going to win the cup. If we're third like this, this is a bad year. We're not having a good time. Uh, Babe Die is having a good time, though. 10 game goals and 10 games played. He's the best score right now. Morans is a rookie season, boys. He's there. 
is seven goals, 11 points already in 10 games played. Bill Cook is in there as well, 11 points. Bay Dye is a best player right now. We've got Frank Boucher is our best player right now. So Frank Boucher at least is doing good. I'm guessing why we are not playing so good right now is because instead of having Frank Boucher playing with Barney Stanley, which they probably have really good chemistry together. We've got New Zealand on, he's a newcomer, so they don't even have any chemistry built up. So they, they, they gotta build up their chemistry together before anything goes right. So that's probably what's going down here. Bay Tra uh, Bob Trapp in there, okay. Interesting. And the goalie, obviously, uh, Ainsworth for seven goals, uh, seven wins. And Vizina has got more wins, or he's got as many wins as Winkler. That's oh, they're they're actually goaltending wise, they're going as they're doing doing as many games as uh, each other. They're basically sharing the goal, uh, goal, uh, the goaltending uh, place right now. That's kind of interesting. Okay, you know what? I think I'm losing a bit too much here. I don't want to have a bad season. We're actually dead last right now. We're dead last again. I don't want this team. All right, we, I managed to make this team win the cup last year, and we're dead last. Uh, this is not going well for us at all. I don't like this. I don't not, I don't like what's going on right now. So I'm gonna just do um, strict positional, stay a uh, balance attack. I'm gonna do my own strategies right here. Balance attack, lane positioning, uh, lane positioning, torpedo sure. Don't care about that. Drop pass, nope. Pursue aggressively, uh, this aggressive press, and this would be aggressive box. Dump and retreat, counter attack. All right, that's what I want. So AI set rolls. That should be, that's my uh, my stuff, all right? That's my stuff, my tactics that I'm telling them to do. They don't want to do it, that's fine, but god damn, they, they got to start playing good here. There we go. There's a win for us. I mean, I need my team to wo wake up. Oh, fuck. We got to stop losing against Montreal. I know they're really good and stuff, but fuck. This is bad, boys. We might not even make it to the playoffs. Fuck. At this point, if, yeah, it's already too late. We're not. Yeah, it's over. Season's over, boys. We're, we keep losing like this. It's over. I mean, that was against Toronto. They last lost as well. Yeah, season's over. We can beat the Ottawa, but... It's a two. It's between the two teams, the two first teams, and we're coming up there. It's 16 goal. We still have time, but I don't know, boys. There we go. At least we can win against Ottawa. That those are huge wins that we can get right there. Let's go make a win. We won against Montreal. That's a huge one. That's a really huge one. There we go, Lalonde. Score against your old team, buddy. Against Toronto. Another huge win. All right. Good, good, good. All right. We're actually winning now. We're winning one more game. Right? Uh, yeah, we're winning, but they're winning two against each other. So 24, 25. That is, I don't think it's going to be possible, boys. I can't beat Montreal or Toronto. Toronto's having a fantastic year uh, for some reason. Come on, beat them. No, it's over. It's over. We can't beat Montreal. We can't do it. Montreal's too good. So uh, this is uh, it's a re really a shame. I thought we would have another good year. I even upgraded my team from last year. Last year we won the cup. I don't know how with an upgrade we managed to still uh, we managed to not even make it to the playoff this year. Uh, Babe Die is doing fantastic. 17 goals. He's got 30 points in ter uh, 20 games played. So really good uh, year for Babe Die. He's there. Probably what's making the difference for them, I guess. Fuck, man. Joel Malone's doing fantastic as well. I mean, New Zealand alone. He's starting to wake up a little bit there. There we go. 23 po go points and 20 games played. He needs to show us. Oh, see, he dropped down to a three star already. He's starting to really uh, grow old. Maybe I shouldn't have done a gun for him. I don't know, boys. But I feel like I should. I, I had to go for him. But he's got 23 points. He's doing all right. Dick Irvin, okay. He's in the best scores. Frank Boucher is doing all right as well. Uh, Ainsworth, 12, 12 wins. I mean, Vizina's got six wins. I think it's up home. Uh, Winkler is not doing a, a good job right now. I don't know why. I, 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 I don't know what to say. I'm kind of clueless as to what's going on right here. Even Ainsworth's got, he's going to pass uh, Vizina right here for the win, for the amount of wins overall. 
Use it alone. I need you to do something. Uh, I just want to see. Uh, so, really quick. Uh, Dizzy Pit, obviously. Does he have anything with Barney Stanley? Limited with Barney Stanley, as you can see the chemistry. And uh, with Gerard as well. It's limited. So, they're starting to grow some chemistry, but they're not. It's not big chemistry. What about Frank Boucher? Frank Boucher's got. Uh, good chemistry with Stanley. At least there, it's good, but even that. So Barney Stanley, is he good with anybody? Wh who is he good for? He's not great with anyone. I guess he's just good with people. Well, I'm pretty sure it's a 24 games, uh, just like every time. Oh, that's good. 10 goals. That's going to help out the, t the, the teams right here, the players. So at this point, I know I'm not making the playoffs, so... Fuck, can we not lose against Ottawa though? Fuck, don't make it worse. Ottawa's a garbage team, don't lose against them. Come on guys, let's go. At this point, I know I'm not going to make it to the playoffs. Oh, we're losing. Come on, man. What the fuck's going on here? Jesus. We can't win for shit now. There's three losses in a row. Oh, this is horrible. We, we finished up with a losing streak. At least we finished up above uh, Ottawa, but fucking Christ, that was terrible. Not a good year at all, boys. That shit will happen sometimes. You can't always have a good year, I guess. But that was a terrible year. I mean, we were just overpassed by two great teams, I guess. Uh, th these are young players, right? Over the years, they draft young players, and these young players, they grow. And now they were playing for the league, and they're ready. I mean, guys like Morans and stuff like this, they're there. They're playing for the team. And it shows up for Montreal when they have a deep center core, for sure. I showed you the, the deep center core they had. It makes all the difference. And we don't have the, these all-star players. Even though I, this is what confuses me because I'm going to look at the stats. Um, last year, we won the cup. But we had the same team, but a bit uh, for worse. We have a better team than last year. And for some reason, we can't even make it to the playoff this year. I don't know. There has to be a, a huge boost or something. Something really happened this year. But Bay Dye finished up with the most goals this year. With 19 goals in uh, 24 games played. And uh, so the goals score, the, the goals record for the, the uh, in the season is not uh, probably not going to be... Um, passed for a, uh, for a while now i guess joe malone's got it and uh speaking of joe malone he also has uh, is the best player of the year with 36 points in four uh, 24 games played malone is consistent uh, i could have gone for him i mean he, he can play center but he's a left wing right now so i'm not gonna go for a left wing and uh babe die Cycl cyclone taylor I mean, Cyclone Taylor is just a stud, a stud defenseman. And Babe Dye is a really good player for them. They've got McKay as well. They've got all these great players. And uh, we do have Musil alone. We got him. He's got a good year. 27 points, boys. He got it. 24, uh, 27 points with no chemistry at all with the, his teammates. Remember that. So with no chemistry at all, that, that tends to happen. Uh, and we've got uh, Ainsworth with the most wins, 14 wins, half homes. This is not, not too shabby, but I mean, six wins, only 10, go, uh, 10 losses. This is not good. Winkler ended up being the backup of all things. I thought, I mean, I, I'm i fine with that. I'm fine with Vizna. Is it because of the contract? It might be because of the contract I gave them, right? Uh, let me see the contract. Uh, what, wait, where's the contract? Starting goalie. No, I just gave him a contract of starting goalie. Okay. And uh, what about Wrinkler? What's his contract? His contract is star player. Yeah, Wrinkler is a star player, so he should be playing first. I don't know. The coach just don't want this. I guess. I don't know. It's the coach, boys. He doesn't want to play uh, Vizina, I guess. Whatever. He wants to play Vizina more, I guess. And uh, the Stanley Cup was between Montreal and the St. Patrick's, of course. And Montreal won it. So another Stanley Cup for Montreal. They just had a, um, a surprising year last year, right? They got surprised by us. 
but not this year. This year they're coming up strong. They're coming uh, back strong. So we're going to continue, boys. We're going to continue. And they defeated the Vancouver Maroons. So they're officially the Stanley Cup champions once more. So they just skipped a year, basically. So that uh, puts them at four Stanley Cups overall for Montreal, boys. I'm sorry, Lalonde. I, <laughs> I prevented Lalonde from having a, a Stanley Cup, boys. That's my bad. But it is what it is. But let's go to take a look at the transactions. Oh, we got a couple of players. Oh, did I forget about Lalonde? I forgot. I forgot to re-sign Lalonde, boys. Hold on. I got to re-sign him right now. I got to re-sign him right now. I forgot about him. I forgot to do that. So he wants one year. He's a three-star. I'm just going to give you the, the maximum. Uh, I'm going to give you... There we go. For five. Star player is in the four stars. Franchise is in the five stars. Right now, he's more of a leader. Yeah, it's definitely just a... He's a leader for sure. So uh, three stars, you're a leader, my guy. So let me go ahead and just give you that contract. There we go. Yeah, I forgot about that, man. Ooh, I forgot to sign him. Uh, Eddie Shore, 20 game. Look at this. Five star. Five star potential. This is what I'm talking about. These players... These young players coming in. We've got some players in here. Look at this. So a lot of players I can get. Uh, I'm going to deal with that really quick. All right, here we go, boys. So I managed to re-sign. There we go. Re-sign Lalon just in time. Holy shit, that was scary. I didn't sign him. For some reason, I forgot about him. That was bad. That was really bad. So uh, we managed to save that one out. Let me just skip forward until the 1st of July. We almost got this. Let's go. I'm curious to see what's going to happen. So scout. I just got to resign these scouts really quick. Hopefully we can have a better year this year. Uh, next year. So the year that's coming up. Because. Uh, oh, my trainer. Okay. So let me take a look at my trainer. He's very good. I'm going to keep him. He's a very good trainer. I'm just going to keep him. He's doing a fantastic job for us. Even though he's getting old. 52 years of age, boys. Let's see how many points I'm going to get. I'm going to be able to spend. Maybe uh, make it a little bit better. I also need to take a look at Lester Patrick, I guess. Because I gave him the coach position. He did a great job last year. But, uh, the, well, the other year before. The first year we got. Because he won the cup for us. But uh, I only had one point to spend. That's bad. Okay. I only managed to get one point. But, yeah, I'm going to take a look at Lester Patrick. Just to see how old he is. Is he... Uh, going down or something? I don't know. Sprague Claygorn? Is that it? Yeah, Sprague uh, Claygorn. Did, uh, Montreal decided to not re-sign him, right? So he's one of these players that went into free agency because they didn't want to re-sign him. And he decided to retire because of that. So Sprague Claygorn decided to retire because he didn't want to go into free agency. And Joe Malone, at a only three, 30, 33 years of age. He could have still went a little bit. He was dropping off, but he, st he still could go. He decided to retire anyway. So they did lose uh, two players here in Montreal. Interesting. They, they lost Joe Malone, boys. If you look at Joe Malone, I think, right in their history books, well, not rules. I went for the wrong one. Oh, no, there we go. History, history. All right, that's it. So, yeah, he's the best player as of now. He is the best player of all time. So the best player of all time right now just retired. At only 33 years of age too. And he's the second best scorer. But he's going to get passed easily by that. Uh, New Zealand is uh, one goal away from having the, the 100 mark in his career. That's pretty good. We also have the second overall. So at least there's that that's good. We can probably get a good prospect out of that. And uh, let's look at the years. Any changes? Saskatoon Cheeks uh, they're, they're, are becoming the uh, Crescents or whatever. Nothing really. Nothing important. Sharpman and Joe Primo, the, the two good players are coming up. Uh, available for drafting. So aside from that, nothing else. I'm going to do the same thing as always, boys. Take a look around uh, what the contracts are and everything. And I'll see you once it's all dealt with. All right, here we go, boys. So I went ahead and dealt with the contracts. We have actually have one of the problems, the good problems I was talking to you about, the goalies, right, from last year. Uh, one of them did grow. It's not Teeny Thompson. It's actually Alec Connell. I'm going to show you guys real quick. 
Uh, so Alec Connell is ready to play in the league. He's two and a half star. He's got the three and a half potential. So he's not as good as Thompson. He's not going to become as good as Thompson is his career. But Thompson's not good there yet. Connell is there though. 21 years of age. He's ready to play. Ready to go. I'm going to put him with Winkler. I decided to uh, definitely, gonna, I'm not going to even put a poll on this one. Vizina. Oh, I like Vizina, but I'm going to have to get rid of him. Uh, right now he's in the minors. He's still a two-star. If you go take a look, he's still a two-star player. He can still play in the, uh, in the league, do a backup or a starter for, uh, I don't know, Ottawa or something like that. He can still be a starting goaltender. He's doing good, but uh, I have to get rid of him. Uh, I can't have players that are uh, two stars anyways in the in the minors, so I gotta. Uh, I'm gonna have to trade him. So he's gonna be a trade bait, and I'm gonna play Alec Connell instead. He's better, younger, and uh, more sufficient. So we're just gonna go ahead and skip a day, like always. We're gonna get all these players re-signed right here. So, uh, Corb Denny is one of these players that I got from free agency. I got a center uh, for free agency, boy. So that's a player I got. There we go, George Meeking, all these players. The other one I got was, uh, I'm not sure. I don't remember, but the team Thompson resigned. Okay, so Alec Connell is going to get the uh, number one uh, desired number. Good. Yeah, continue. That's good. And number five, there's all, it's already taken, so you can take uh, number 15, my guy, I guess. So these are the two players I went for, I guess. I went for Corb Dedeny. And no, Alec Connell's just the other player. Uh, did the other guy sign? No, it's Bernie's, uh, Bernie Morris. So right now the top is Toronto. Bernie Morris got a better offer from Toronto. Offer him another contract. I'm going to give him the two years like I did. But I'm going to give him uh, three mil instead. Let's see if he actually wants to accept that. All right. Submit your offer. I can't submit it. Okay. I'm probably going to get it stolen from me. But whatever. If he gets stolen from me, that's that's fine. Uh, so we just now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna deal with this really quick. So dress players. Oh, hold on. Yeah, we do have uh, Corb Denning. That's right. He's gonna replace uh, Milks. Yeah, he was replacing Milks and Milks. He's 24 years of age, one and a half star. So we can play him in the minors. That's not a problem. We can actually play in the minors if we want to. We're actually going to do, there we go, dress players right now. Everybody's there. Uh, I'm probably going to have to re-sign Skinner, but I'm waiting on Morris. See if he's going to sign with me or not. He's probably going to sign with Toronto, though. So let me just see. Uh, roster for Hamilton Tiger, uh, not the the senior Tigers, I guess. The, the minors. Let me see which which guy. So Owen. No, not, not Owen. Monroe, I got re-signed. It's uh, Milks, yeah. Milks got, got back in there. I can actually re-sign you, buddy, but I already have a center, though. I'll re-sign you anyways, just because. Uh, why not? Why not we just re-sign him, boys? So, there we go. Oh, hold on. He wants probably more than that. And that's, uh, there we go. Just uh, a two-way deal, boys. That should do the trick. Let's just go ahead and skip another day. There we go. So, he did sign... Uh, Milks, okay, so Milks uh, signed, but uh, we we still don't have uh, news from Bernie Morris. We don't have any news from him. That's not good, boys. We don't have any news from Mil Morris. I can't sign Half Skinner just yet because Half Skinner uh, is an initial guy, so I can't sign him just yet. If I sign him, I'm going to have to stick with him. Or something like that. Or I'm going to have to trade him. Let me just see real quick. I'm going to have to trade him either way probably. But uh, let me see real quick. So we're coming up to the draft. Let's see. Uh, look at the draft. It's not a big uh, draft. Uh, okay. So the year that we can actually have a good player. Is the year that there's nothing interesting. Let me just pick on Tail Human. This is, we're going to make it quick here. Uh, we don't have too much of a choice. So we have Wentworth. Gosling. Or Barry. Center, left wing, or right D. Which one has the most offense? Barry has the most offense. He's got the most potential. I'm going to just pick up Barry, I guess. There we go. Uh, Hamilton, Tigers. Uh, Johnny Gagnon Mo or Mondu, boys. I'm not sure. I'm going to go for Mondu right here. There we go. He's the best option. Next up, we got two in a row. 
These are all tread, uh, trade baits, basically. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna sign my uh, my first round pick, but the raw, the rest, it's all trade bait, really. Uh, more, healthy, more, couture. Yeah, I don't know. Let me just take couture, and I'll take uh, more. I don't need goalies right now. I really don't. I really don't. I'm just gonna take M's, I guess. There we go. So many boys. Oh yeah, we got so many. I guess I'll take the goalie. That's a lot of trade bait, anyways. That's a. It's just trade bait at this point. It really is. It's just trade bait for me to get uh, these guys out of there. I can get a, a draft pick in exchange for that. So there it is. Uh, what do we else? Uh, what else do we have? Nothing really. I'm just gonna skip a day again. Nothing. They didn't resign. Okay, hold on. Because we're skipped. We skipped all the way there. Yeah. Yeah, he did sign with Toronto. Okay. Bernie Morris signed with Toronto, which means I'm going to have to re-sign uh, Skinner right here. Let me just uh, re-sign him really quick at uh, two a year deal. Just give him a bit more right here like that. There we go. Just sign him like that. And also, unsigned draftees, which one was the... It, it was Barry, wasn't it? Yeah, it was Barry that was the, the guy. There's something special about one of these guys. Kutsur is already... Oh, he's playing for Canada. What? He's playing for Canada. All right. Well, let me just sign Barry. I'm going to sign Barry. He's my first round pick. I'm just going to sign him. Uh, Two-year, two-way deal. I'm just going to give you a bit more right here. If you're not a prospect, you're uh, a French prospect. And I'm going to give you uh, this right there. There we go. That's what you're going to be. That's, that's going to be your deal, buddy. There we go. I have Skinner resigning Barry. He's still negotiating. But uh, Askinner did resign. Let me just wait for uh, Mr. Barry to sign the deal. There we go. So Mr. Barry just signed the deal. He's going to be in the minors. There we go. He's in the minors. And now we've got a lot of things to uh, consider right here. So any players that we haven't signed. Oh, everybody's signing here. Got a couple of players as you can see right here. So where's Barry? Barry's another center. So we got three centers in the minors right now. That's fine. That's just fine. The only one that we need to that's in the minors that we're gonna need to trade is Vizina. We're gonna need to trade him. He's a two-star. He still can uh, play in the uh, in the league. And over here, everybody's re-signed. So let me just see real quick what we can get. So the worst player that we can get uh, the, that we need to replace. Would be one of these guys. Uh, these guys can still grow. They're still young, so we can definitely even make them go into the uh, the the minors even, and uh, just get a player in exchange. But I don't have enough uh, stuff, or maybe I do. Maybe I actually do have enough players for that with the whole uh, draft situation. I had plenty of players probably. So right the right wing or a left wing. So we can take a look what's the most important, what's the one that's the most interesting right now that we could go for. All right, boys, so I tried to go for Eddie Shore. Eddie Shore, he's, uh, if we take a look at him, right, I mean, just remove him really quick from the uh, the thing. Uh, he's a five-star potential, big-time prospect, right, D-man, 23, uh, 20 years of age, right? But five stars, I don't have enough uh, potential players. I'm going to make it so that I can't just cheated my way through it all right officially i could have went for him but i'm not going to do it because you got a, a maximum amount of players and trade assets you can get uh, you can give the other team and i uh with even with my maximum i was at like four stars or something and not five stars so it's not going to be enough for eddie shore i don't have enough for him what i do have enough for it's montreal again we're going back there Again, boys, and this time around, it's their best score. Babe Die, we have enough for him. Uh, we can make a replacement for the right wing right here. Absolutely perfect. He's a four-star right now. So while he's a four-star, because he could go into a five-star eventually, while he's still a four-star, we can go and trade for him. I know it's cheese, but he says it says he's a four-star, so he's worth a four-star. And this guy is just a fantastic player. Let's just go get him. And he can do a fantastic job for us. So let's just go get this player. We're going to obviously give them back. Give Montreal back Vizina. So Vizina, you can go back to your old team again. That's one star. 
right there. That right there would be another star. So that's two stars already. Two for four. And uh, that would be uh, right there. These two players. That's uh, three stars for four stars. I'm pretty sure I cannot. Uh, Roberts, I'm pretty sure my maximum right here if I do that because... Yeah, that would be at my maximum right there. So, all right. So I can't give them these players, but I, I'm going to have to give them, I guess, uh, an amateur draft pick. That's the trade we're going to do. All these players, three prospects, George Vizina, and a third round pick for Mr. Babe Die. That's the trade I'm going to do. It's the same amount of stars in my opinion, even though it says otherwise. Doesn't matter. I'm making the trade happen, boys. So there we go. Big time trade. We got Babe Die on our team now. After getting New Zealand alone from them, we're getting Babe Die. We're, we're stealing all our players. But they're getting prospects back and they're getting some drafts. So draft picks. And they won the cup anyways. And so they get Vizina back. Let me just see real quick. So Montreal General said the two sides were close to a blockbuster trade before agreeing upon a smaller scale transaction. This is just a bit of a housekeeping compared to what we wanted to do, he said. I won't name names, but the potential deal we were done to, ma uh, to making would have certainly grabbed some headlines. A source inside uh, of Hamilton said the two sides might not be done dealing, and another transaction could be in the works. You never know. It could be. It could be, boys, but... I mean, in my mind, that's still a blockbuster trade. I still gave them back Vizina. Vizina is a legendary goaltender at this point. Still gave him, uh, gave them back to them. So uh, in my mind, that's still a good trade. Let me see real quick. So Babe Die, he's now our main guy. He's a uh, right wing. He's going to be replacing White, right? He's going to be replacing this player. And this guy is perfect. It's just a literally a replacement. Uh, White can play in the minors, so that's perfect for us. We don't need to trade in another player or anything. Uh, I feel like they're going to have a really good season with each other. So we've got the big stud, big die, the best score of the league, basically, with uh, Frank Boucher. Meeking, uh, Harry Meeking with uh, Lalonde in the second line with Barney Stanley. So they can still play together and grow a little bit that, um, that chemistry together, these two. Uh, Gérard with uh, Denini and Boucher, Green, Carson, Skinner, Trapp and Cameron, Stewart and Conacher, Clincy and Abel. And it's going to be Connell as our main guy, main goalie, and Winkler as the backup. Very good, boys. Let's look at our staff. Still the same coaches and everything. Uh, Lester Patrick, I did want to see what he was worth. It's still pretty good. Yeah, it's still good. Yeah, he's 30, only 29 years of age for a coach that's pretty young. So he's got plenty of years ahead of him. I don't know why he was struggling last year then. We're gonna we're doing good. We have a fantastic staff. Everything's perfect. So we're gonna stop it right here. I'm gonna leave it uh, for the next video. Remember to do the like and subscribe if you did enjoy the deal. Keep it easy, boys.